Ayam Yuriot Kis Gambo. My transition from Guantanamo, Cuba to Miami went like this. First I went to Venezuela, then from there I went to Cúcuta, Colombia, and then to Miami. Then I went to Germany, where I started my career as a professional. I started boxing thanks to my father, who was also a boxer. From when I was a little kid, I was always surrounded by sports. The best period of my career that gave me the most satisfaction was when I became an Olympic champion. I'm very happy to be here in the U.S., and I'm grateful to this country for giving me the chance to show that I can accomplish big things in professional boxing. But if God gave me the opportunity to go back to my country, I would jump at the chance. The thing that I miss most about Cuba is definitely my family. For example, when I used to go back to my town, to Guantanamo, there was a real feeling of warmth with my friends and family. It's something that I don't have here. When I win a fight, I don't have that love that I'm used to having. That's something that still sort of bothers me. I am Julio Quisambo, El Cicrón de Guantanamo. Lennox, we're about a minute into the first round. Both guys seem pretty relaxed. Seem pretty relaxed. Gamboa is caught in talk with a lot of punches. Oh, left and hand. actually hurt him with that punch. Right and then the left hurt him toggle. Power punches landed so far in the round. According to the top of box. 12-3 in favor of Gamboa. Pretty definitive round for your Arcus Gamboa. And down goes him toggle. So, if you're in the corner of Emtago, what do you do to stop the left hands and then the right from Gambo as he steps in? Left hand right to the face by Gambo. Good stoppage, good stoppage by referee. 